Hey YouTube, how's it going? Red Baron here, flying at you with another video. This week on Illustrious Champion League, I'm going against Jay Johnny. And this season, he is playing Water. And as you all know, Water has access to one of the strongest counter runes, Tsunami. So let's see how I'm going to prepare for that. Alright, so first let's go into what Jay Johnny may bring this week. So I've already reviewed both his first and second games, and he pretty much relied on the Mustation Galaxy combo the entire way. Um... Pretty much for those who don't know, Mustation is a 1-6 and Galaxy allows any Water Enchanted Elestral to swap their attack and defense. So, what does this mean? This means he probably will also run Aphros. I did see him run a few uh, Ver Veritaqua, which I do expect him to run against me because uh, he, along with probably everybody else, will think that I'm running Astrabit, which I'm not. So, um, he also was running Caprigal which was interesting. And he, will, of course, was also running Foamy. So more than likely, he'll probably run the same strategy. He'll run Sluggles, Foamies. Uh, he'll run the Caprigal. I did see him run a single Typhlant. I'm assuming that's gonna be his like one of in the deck, um, just for the Foamy target. Um, and then he'll run the other obvious choices, Veritaqua for any of my defense positions, um, Mustations, Galaxy, and Aphrosis. Um, I could probably see him run the Tad Puffs as well to try to get the Capricals out, but not quite sure. I definitely don't think he's going to be running Majesty. Um, as cool as it is to run Majesty, Majesty is just not as consistent. Um, it's really hard to get out. It's really easily removable. And um, yeah, I also don't see him running Cracking at all. Cracking is... Though it's fun. It's fun to like hope to just drop and drop it and deny two of those spaces it's just not viable in the meta strategy which we're kind of all trying to go for here we're all professional players trying to duke it out um so that's pretty much what i see him playing on um, this week so let's go into how i'm going to play my deck so i pretty much have um a main theme going on this time around i am going traps don't matter so, knowing Johnny, he's going to be playing as many counter runes as possible. So, therefore, we're going to deny him that and just play Sonic Core. Um, if I hit get Sonic Core out on the field, the chances of him getting over that are very slim. His only out will either be double Trident or Laurels. Those are his only ways to get out of the Sonic Core. So that's pretty much what I have going on. So let's go, let's break it down to each of the individual cards that I have in this deck. Starting off with the bread and butter, we have our one drops. Um, we have Elichik uh, to get those Divine Drunes. We have Jolton to get the Stadiums. We have Rhyceros because it's just really good in this format because every player is playing mono color and Rhyceros will just stop all of his aggressive plays. We'll stop the Mustations, we'll stop almost everything um toxian is obviously there for the burn and we have spark it we're going to try to either target those um poseidons or get rid of as many back rows as we can now some of you might be saying but why aren't you playing astrabbit main reason why i'm not playing astrabbit is solely because of his vertaqua so even though Astrap is a plus. It's a great card. Love it. I am trying to go for a more aggressive strategy and just try to get all my five attackers going off. Five attackers because of Mount Lippus. If we get that off, all my Lestrals become five attackers and Rhysos becomes a five booty. Moving on to the staple spells that we have. Um, we have the two of the Mount Lippuses and two Zeuses. That's for obvious reasons. When you're running three Jolton and three Elichick, you don't need to run three Zeuses and three Olympuses. It's just not needed. Um, we have three Ambrosias. Uh, we have three Resting on Your Laurels. Uh, mainly, I mainly have these in here, main deck them this time, because uh, he's going to be running as he's going to try to hit on the field. He's trying to get the Poseidon. He's going to want to get the Trident as fast as he can. And resting on my laurels will be the only way I can get over um, the back row lock. 
And also to help me, I'm running triple thunderstorm this time. Last time I ran two, but this time it has to be three. Um, again, same reasons. Uh, I want to hit the Poseidons. I want to hit the Tridents. Um, and I don't feel bad blind, blind hitting something. Um, so let's look at my targets. We have Gorgon's Gaze. If I hit that, that's great. If I hit um, PTA, Poison Tipped Arrow, lovely. If I hit Ar Achilles Shield, even wonderful. If I hit Poseidon, sure, that's also good. If I hit Triton, <laughs> that's also good. There are just so many. Even if I hit Ambrosia, probably the weakest hit will probably be Ambrosia or Nog or something like that. But um, I don't really care. And knowing Johnny, Johnny is very aggressive with his back rows. So anything he can set, he will set. Um, spells, invokes, counter runes, etc. Anything he can, he will. All right. So let's look into my back row support. We're running triple Gorgon's Gaze, triple PTA, double Alter the Stars, and Shield of Achilles. Gorgon's Gaze is there for the obvious reasons. We can target Galaxy while it's attacking and make it flip its attack and defense again and probably mess him up during combat phases. We could also stop um, Glaubies um, to go into Majesty if that ever happens. We can also stop Sluggles from regaining any life. PTA, there for, again, obvious reasons. Um, if he wants to be aggressive like he was last time um, with Galaxies, this will stop him. These will also stop the Foamies. Unfortunately, these will not... <sighs> Won't be that great to get the mustaches because when first you'll get the deduction and then the swap will happen, so I'll still have six attack. Um, we also have the shield of Achilles, just in case he gets something big out in the field. If he, he wants to run Capragol, shield of Achilles is there. That being said, so let's look at my sideboard. Um, we have the triple Astrabbits that we're not running, just in case um, it's better to play defensively. Um, I'll slow down the game a little bit with Astrabbit. Uh, the Galvanoms are here as well. I don't see myself signing these in because Sonic Core is just really good against this matchup. Um, Helios' Chariot. I can side these in if I feel like the back row hate is not enough. Boombat's there in case I feel like he's running a lot more two, three cost Elestrals. Um, this will definitely help. Unfortunately, it won't help against Majesty because Majesty negates effects. Um, we also have Pandora's box um, in case we want to side it in against Foamy. So there you have it. This is my deck. This is the deck breakdown. I feel really good this week. I think we have a really good matchup and it's just going to be back row hate versus back row hate. And whoever gets there first will obviously be the winner. Um, I think my deck is consistent. I think it's uh, very aggressive and I'm ready for that win. So. Go down below, hit that like button, and tell me what you think about this deck. And keep an eye out for the next match for this week. Until then, fly high.